On September 11, 2001, America was viciously attacked by evil forces. 2,974 people lost their lives that day. Placing 9-11 on the calendar is another date that will live forever in infamy. Americans were shocked, devastated, and outraged by the deaths of those innocent individuals. Yet on that same day, approximately 2,500 additional Americans died of cardiovascular disease. The next day, another 2,500 people died. And again on Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday, and the entire following week. In fact, a total of 75,000 Americans died during the month of September from cardiovascular disease. More than 25 times as many people died of cardiovascular disease that September than were killed by terrorists. Cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of death in America. In 2001, over 900,000 people died from this silent killer. That number is more than all the American soldiers killed in battle during all the American wars combined. An aggregate 44 years of fighting over the course of more than two centuries has resulted in 653,406 combat deaths. Think of it. More Americans die in one year from cardiovascular disease than died in actual combat from all the wars we have ever fought. On March 28, 1969, President Eisenhower died of a heart attack. Less than four years later, President Lyndon B. Johnson died from a third heart attack at the age of 64. He was only 47 years old when he suffered his first heart attack. The following celebrities all died from heart disease before reaching the age of 60. John Candy was only 43 when he died. However, John's father was even younger, dying at the age of 35 from a heart attack. At the age of 38, Peter Sellers suffered a series of heart attacks which permanently damaged his heart. A final heart attack killed Inspector Clouseau at the age of 54. Henry Fonda was 77 when he died from heart disease. However, he lived longer than everyone else pictured here. In June 2008, Tim Russert collapsed suddenly and died while preparing for the television show, Meet the Press. An autopsy revealed that ruptured cholesterol plaque blocked off a main artery leading to the fatal heart attack. It's frightening to think that even though Tim Russert had access to the finest medical care in America and had recently passed a stress EKG evaluation and also was under the supervision of a cardiologist taking medication for cholesterol and blood pressure, he died at the age of 58 from his first and final heart attack. That same month, George Carlin died from heart failure. We just showed photos of 28 famous people who died of heart disease. 27 men and one woman. However, the last thing we want to do is add to the myth that heart disease affects mostly men. Heart disease is the number one cause of death for both men and women. In fact, more women die of heart disease in the United States each year than men. In addition, studies show that women are much more anxious about developing breast cancer than cardiovascular disease. There seems to be more news and awareness regarding breast cancer than there is heart disease among women. Yet 12 times as many women will die from cardiovascular disease than breast cancer. It is hard to find someone who does not have a connection to cardiovascular disease. Who do you know that could be next? Which of your loved ones or friends needs an answer to this silent killer before it is too late? Part two presents an answer so powerful as to be a direct threat to the status quo of the multi-billion dollar pharmaceutical industry.